Well, how's it going, buddy? I'm Burhead2. Welcome back to Pikmin 4. We have something new over here. Oh, yeah, it's the ID badge. Bernice. Alright, let's move on here. Where to next? You can't match the might of my 60 red Pikmin. Leaf red Pikmin, mind you, but they're still red Pikmin. Like, let's say, for example. Also, I have 100 Pikmin on me, which means, well, no more wild Pikmin. Are always 10? It's supposed to be 12. Now, don't tell me there's gonna be like something buried up there and a yellow Pikmin for that, because I won't be very happy. Probably not, but. Who knows? Alright then. There you go. Oh, gee. Do that for me. There we go. Darn it, I missed. I missed again. How'd I do that? How'd I do that? And these nuggets. Try to do the trick. No, you don't. Up close. No, stop that. Stop that. Kill the thing. It's fine. It's fine. And that's basically everything, except for the nuggets. Which, uh, I figured that was going to take me a lot longer. So this is going to be like the longest cave in the game. The original Hole of Beasts was uh, six sub-levels if I remember correctly, which I might not. We don't have any purple Pikmin on us, and we have an overabundance of spicy sprays. Nah, we'll be fine. I don't believe it, but... No, stop that. Kill the... Shut up, Colin. Please. Do something good for once, and shut up. Oh, can you like jump on that for me or something? Okay, guess I have to specifically ride you and do that. Okay. Oh! Hey, don't do that! That's not very nice. Ooh, I like that. I like that. raw material over there, but I want some more pictures of that. Cool detail, though, that they, uh... A uh, two series. That's nice. That, uh... The, the Aedas and Flint Peel takes three hits for it to go away over here. Or caves, but above ground takes more. Just like 
uh, different from the first game and the second game. Please don't take forever. Please don't take forever. Where are they? Oh, they're 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 taking forever. Oh, well, it's not that bad. They're they're basically there. Oh, they're getting close. Now they're basically there. I was right there. There we go. But this is the final level. I was thinking maybe it's gonna be like upwards of eight. But no, it's gonna be six. And that says a whole bunch of Emperor Bulblaxes. Oh, why did you, why did I trigger the Emperor Bulblaxes? I don't, uh, can we hide? Why is it not working? No, it is. I want to do this on my own terms. You gonna like bury? You're just gonna sit there? Okay, I guess they're gonna start walking around now. You know what? You know what? You know what? No, don't go that direction. Oh yeah. Now come face me. Oh, she might die? Oh, 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 oh. Okay, that was dangerous. I want this other guy. There we go. Please don't like stomp. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that wasn't good. Okay, we lost the spice spray, but that's fine. Now he'll be fine. Okay. So it does stomp. It does stomp. I meant this guy. And it's clearly a reference to Pikmin 2 right over there. All right then, I'm checking the ID. Horatio. A proud member of the gig economy. He likes to think he spreads cheer wherever he goes, but he usually does the opposite. Oof. That's an odd thing to read in an ID badge. He seems like a rather eccentric sort. This is absolute. This is 100% a reference to Pikmin 2. There's just no fire geysers. You know, it is. There's. There typically be like three fire geysers right here. The, oh, there's. The, they are there, on the final level of the. Uh, Bulbax Kingdom. There wouldn't be this stuff, though. That wouldn't be here. Obviously, there'd be a single Emperor Bulbax right in the middle, and there'd be a gate, and then there's all this stuff. The guys would be right there. There was water. A lot more fire geysers, though. And up there would be the driveway bus. Between two fire geysers, and there's a little ledge right over here. And it's screw, because that's new to pick them for Deluxe and it picked them for. Still a shrine though, I think. Ooh, destroy that. That's not supposed to be there. Oh, that one guy tried so hard. Sorry, buddy. So we lost a lot of red Pikmin in there. Bernice, Horatio, Ambiguous Goo, the Ancient Statue Head, the Cookie of Prosperity. That's not a Pikmin 2 name. 
Chance Totem, that's a Pikmin 2 name. Ian, yeah, I'll ask Justin. 91% and we lost 26 red Pikmin. Okay, well, I guess, you know what, I'm going back. I, apparently I missed something. Yeah, give me the Pikmin. And we missed something on this sub-level. All right, so give me the, the classic. So let's get this done with. There's something right over there. I bet that's what it is. I bet that's what it is. Those guys are just hopelessly lost. Where was it again? Right behind me. Okay, this direction. No? Okay, well, let's try this then. This direction? Okay, gotta take the long way, Ochi. Just give me a second. Uh, okay. Th that works, that works, I guess. Okay, right over here. It's another anxious sprout. Now please, all you pick it up. Thank goodness. More than just ten. Now I can finally leave and be happy. Woo! And there we go. We did it. Now that should almost be everything in the Blossoming Arcadia. Except for that one treasure we're missing. Except... Except that, because of the way the caves work, we now have Ochi. And that means... I know where the treasure is now. Well, he'll find it for me. No. What? There, there, there was a... There was treasure right over here. No, no, I'm... Not again. Not again, though. Okay, um... Pick up on... On anything, Ochi. It's a, a castaway. Okay, he's not in the. He's not in the mound. Where could we be going? Let's see if we can figure it out. Oh, right, <laughs> right there. We never picked the guy up. We never picked the guy up, all right. Okay, that's kind of funny. No, he's just been sitting there for a while. Passed out, good thing he didn't wake up. Maybe a little faster would be nice. All these tulips remind me of the ending of Pikmin 3. That ending cutscene with the whipped on bulb orb. Lifting recovered, good work. Oh no. All these leaflings, here we go, there's more of them. I'm going to need a stock up on medicine. And that's another 100% in the bag. Dingo is going to be so happy with us.
All right. So three rescues. All this stuff, mooching vase. The three generation series. That's true. Got a lot of sparks them today, I think. Or did we? I don't know. Well, we got all these series completed, so that that's count for something. I wonder are the completion bonuses like preset numbers, or they randomized? Because it's, it's kind of strange, very arbitrary numbers, like 153, 183. You know. What's with that? All this? There should be a lot from this, because it's huge. Like that. 231, that's pretty nice. Two thousand thirty spawn equilibrium. A nice round even number. Twenty eight thousand thirty-four. That's pretty good. The last 29%, that's cool as well. More rescue journal. <clears throat> uh, Shepard, did I hear that you're a uh, dog fanatic? I'm a dog lover too. I have a sweet little puppet home named Bulby. Really? How lovely. Dog's the best. What kinds of stuff does Bulby like? Locked He's a dog, so what do you think? But he especially loves Pikmin carrots. Watching him eat those, uh, those is the cutest thing in the universe. Ha! Huh, I know exactly what you mean. Nothing makes them ha makes me happy than watching a dog chow on something they love. Or when their eyes sparkle when it's time for their walkies, or how they struggle up to you, so nice and warm, their loyalty. Okay. You know what we're talking about, right, Colin? Yeah, no. Yes, of course. We'll be talking about this all night. All of these guys, all these guys, uh, so yeah, Dingo, let's talk to you first. Oh, you think you've got this under the control, is that it? No one can pull a fast one on me. <laughs> oh, wow, more raw material, that's just great. And three areas. I see. Well, you're not done getting newbie. Keep at it and finish the job. I got 535, um... Got some new missions, that's true. There we go. And rescue journal, let's read that. Beyond the sky itself, there lies a beautiful blue planet. Those words have been passed down from captain to captain, calling to each of us. I can't imagine what sort of place the blue planet might be, but it's said to be home to even more dogs and folks than we have here. One day, I hope to fly beyond the sky and into space. Thank you, Maris Shepard, 7th Captain. Alright, so, that's gonna be it for today's video. Thanks for watching, we got... Yeah, uh, Shnaz has something to say, but we, who cares? So yeah, thanks for watching, goodbye.